Shane. We're here to check out the Joyo Ironman series rated boost pedal. This is a clean boost pedal. It does have some overdrive in there as well, but it's just like an off clean overdrive. It's great for taking your tone, making it louder, and also just adding a hair of drive on there as well. The Iron Man design is inspired by Iron Man and it's got a little visor on the front. It's a really unique design. You can then set your pedal, close it up and not knock your controls, which may be helpful for a lot of people as well. It's also good for keeping the privacy of your settings, you know, if other friends have also got the same pedal. A huge thanks to Joyo and Cranberry Music for allowing me to test these out. I really appreciate that. If you're located in Melbourne, Australia, definitely check out Cranberry Music. All links will be on screen and in the description below. All right, let's kick this off. I'm playing my 56 custom shop Les Paul with P90s into a Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier. I'm currently on both pickups and this is where the pedal was set on the intro clip. This is the clean tone to start with. <laughs> And with the pedal on. Now what you'll probably notice looking at the front is the volume controls actually not even at 12 o'clock. It's quite a loud pedal. Unity on this pedal is at about 10 or 11 o'clock. So meaning if you click the pedal on or off, it's roughly the same volume. And you might have also noticed that there's not a lot of gain. That's right, it's a clean boost. So it's great for that off clean thing or you can use it to push a dirty channel. I've just dimed the gain all the way up. Let's give this a shot. And bridge. Let's try it the other way around now. Let's turn the gain down, the volume up. Nick. Let's go ahead and check out the low EQ now. This will add loads of warmth and bottom end. My bridge pickup, by the way. A little bit more. While it was getting a little bit too bass heavy, you can see how much it can warm up guitars. Be perfect for a Strat. Let's try it. Over to my 50th anniversary deluxe Strat loaded with Zex coil pickups. I'm going to start on the bridge pickup and show you the low EQ control and what it can do for single coil guitars, even though these aren't. Anyway, it's a Strat, so let's give this a shot. All right, let's go ahead and turn the bass up again. Here we go. Yeah, loads more bottom end. Let's try it with it this way again. Bit more balanced that way, but if you want that warm, big sound, you got it. While it already sounds great, if you do want to customize how much top end is coming through your sound, simply turn this pot down. All the way down. All 
all the way up. Probably a little bit overkill with the treble up that high on a strat, but you can do it like that if you choose to, or if you're playing a humbucker guitar, you can absolutely do that. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the video or the pedal, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to find out more about these pedals, please click on the links in the description below. It'll take you through to either the Joyo website or the Cranberry Music website as well. Thanks again for watching. Please let me know what you think of the tone and I'll catch you all very, very soon. I just thought I'd let everybody know that my forum at intheblues.net is really taking off. So if you wanna be part of the community over there, head over and have a chat about anything music related. So I'll catch you all very, very soon. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.